When I was a kid, one of the things that I really, really look forward to, kind of before the internet became the main source for everything, was gaming magazines. Back then, a lot of the times, there'd be certain magazines running certain exclusives, and that would give you a sneak peek at some of the newest games on the horizon that wasn't just easily available online, or at least in my young little mind, it felt a lot harder to find that stuff online. And one of the things I really do miss is the advent of gaming magazines and kind of how they barely really exist anymore at this point. In this video, I'm going to go over what's left of my gaming magazine collection and some of the ones that are just absolutely really, really awesome to me and ones that I'm very fond of that I have a lot of nostalgia for. So let's take a look. Unfortunately, I don't really have the best bookshelf to properly display these gaming magazines and I may get like a magazine shelf down the road but this is my collection of what I have left from gaming magazines growing up I had way way more that I've either lost or they got destroyed or I've even just given them away as it stands gaming magazines to me were something that really do hold a special place and my memories of growing up and playing video games purely because a lot of the times with gaming magazines you got stuff that you couldn't find online at least that's how it felt at the time and certain magazines kind of made their bread and butter off of that approach if you look at my collection here I have immortalized on my walls for good reason stuff like Electronic Gaming Monthly, Nintendo Power, I even used to like the GMR magazine from GameStop or EB Games at the time and of course the original Xbox magazine because at that time all of those publications in my opinion were trying their best to really give you stuff that you couldn't just get anywhere else. And if you look through my collection here, you're going to see on the top, and probably my favorite magazine growing up is Electronic Gaming Monthly. You can see that I got a bunch of copies of those still. I also got a lot of different copies of these, this Game Players magazine, which is actually more of a recent buy I saw for cheap at a game store. Um, but of course, I have a ton of Nintendo Power magazines. I have the original Xbox magazines as well. I have some kind of more recent in the 360 era and some from the OG era as well. I even had the computer gaming magazine. I actually did buy quite a few of those. I, I was, was a gaming PC gamer for a while too growing up. GMR to me was actually an underrated magazine. It didn't really seem as popular as the other ones here, but I did buy them from EB Games way back when. And of course, Nintendo Power I have a ton of. I actually have one even from when I believe I was like 15, 14 years old or something right here. Actually, no, this might even be older than that. I think this might actually even be from when I was like 12 years old, but this one stuck around somehow and hasn't got destroyed for all these years. And then, of course, I have a lot of different Nintendo powers, but a lot of the times back then, going through gaming magazines, one of the coolest things was a lot of them were, were heavy on exclusives. And one in particular to me that stands out, and probably the reason I like it so much, was Electronic Gaming Monthly. They had, I remember at the time, they had this Zelda magazine hyped up when it was coming out. And at that time, they had run, as I believe at the time, the first exclusive screenshots of the new Zelda game that were beyond what was available, like the trailers at the time. And this is for Twilight Princess. And this to me was a huge deal. I remember I barely had money back then, but I remember I rushed out and got a copy of this just to look at these exclusive screenshots and details on this game. Because at that time, I believe they were the very first to even show any of this. And I actually saw in a Zelda group I follow on Facebook, these scans were kind of more recently uploaded and shown off. So I think for a lot of years, these screenshots were very uncommon for Twilight Princess. A lot of it's not really much of a surprise now that the game's been released, but at the time, there was a huge sense of exclusivity to this game and these screenshots that came only from a magazine like Electronic Gaming Monthly. And that was kind of the approach with a lot of these magazines. Now, it's not to say that there wasn't cool content. I know I keep focusing on the exclusivity, but I think at that time, 
it wasn't just the exclusivity it was the ability to digest the gaming content i liked in a more personable way if you actually have seen some of my videos you can see i got a big vinyl record collection and the reason for that is it's a lot more intimate going at those than modern media seems to really do for me maybe that's just my nostalgia kicking in but with a lot of these magazines like these old xbox nintendo powers not just electronic game monthly but all these magazines there was a certain level of intimacy that i got from reading these magazines monthly or when i could get them and learning about stuff in gaming that i didn't see before or from different parts of the world that i didn't know was happening just yet and there was a certain level of really feeling close to some of the writers and and the way they went about their approach to gaming that just seems special at the time and it's not to say that doesn't exist anymore and maybe it's also because i'm getting older but i don't feel the same way about video game journalism that i did back then and it's such a shame because i loved these magazines and really i i digested them every single time i could get a copy of them when i was growing up so this is just a bit of a nostalgia video on some of the classic gaming magazines that are out there. I know a lot of these actually seem pretty new. A lot of my more historic ones did not survive. They've gotten destroyed or disappeared or given away or something throughout the years. But even looking back at some of these more recent ones even, there's a lot here that I really miss about video games. And I'm sure a lot of you in the comment section probably feel the same way.